Hello and welcome back to AJM Learn. Um, all right, today I'm going to show you how to break text up into columns on Squarespace with CSS. Um, it just works a lot better than doing it manually with different text blocks side by side. So let's dive in. As you can see, I have this hideous large chunk of text that no one would ever read. Um, sometimes we can't escape this. Our clients need a bunch of text sometimes. It just happens. So I'm going to flip over to the post that I'm referring to here. Um, first step is just to break the text into columns. Just nothing fancy. Um, so we need to grab our block ID, which I do with this Google extension. Bam. Okay. So block ID done. Make sure to keep your P here. Um, column count to column gap. So you can, of course, change your column count as needed. You can change the gap if you want a smaller gap. This is the gap right here between the two columns. Um, so pretty simple. This is just the most straightforward way of using this. Done. Easy. Um, one note down here, I'll just jump to this, is with any of these, inside the brackets, you can actually add text align justify. If you wanted to get that kind of, I don't know, newspaper look where it is left and right justified. Um, it does look kind of nice. Uh, when you have the ragged edges, it, I don't know, can look a little messier, but this is totally a preference thing. So that's pretty simple. Um, next, this is probably going to be the one you actually use. Um, let me actually hop back to this one. So here, this looks great on desktop. When we flip to mobile, this like kind of looks insane. So I like to just not apply it to mobile. So this next bit of CSS here shows you how to do that. So let me grab my block ID again, because I just copied this over. Um, but basically for this one, we're telling it, hey, only do two columns when the screen width is, you know, a minimum of this size. So when we flip to desktop, or sorry, to mobile, now it does not break into two columns. So problem solved there. And then lastly, you can get really, really detailed with this. So I've, I've Put this together you can adjust as needed based on if you needed like a bunch of breakpoints or whatever you need but i put together this set of multiple breakpoints so this actually might be the best application if you really want to use this effectively so i have it broken down into your mobile columns your tablet columns and your desktop columns so for mobile i we probably want the column count to be one for tablet, it makes sense for it to be two. And on desktop, let's say that we want three. So this would be if you wanted more than the one and two option I just showed. Let me grab my block ID once again. I'll put it in all three spots. Okay, so now you can see that desktop has broken into three columns. Um, I'm gonna drag my screen in. You can see that when it gets to what would be kind of that vertical tablet size, it breaks into two columns. And then when it goes into mobile, it is only one. So super cool. You can get really, really specific with this um, and get that really great user experience just based on um, what kind of device your clients are using. Okay. Hope that was helpful and hope you enjoy.